Hey, good morning. My name is Doug. I just wanted to make a little video on how I converted lots of my lights in my camper to be compatible with Alexa. I'm a big fan of home automation. I have a lot of devices in my house and I always want to yell at my camper to turn off and on the lights. So I did a little research and uh, this is what I came up with. So I'm going to flip this around and show you what I've done and uh, hopefully it'll help you out too. So first things first, I have a 2020 Wolfpack toy hauler. It was equipped with the LCI one control board, which allows you to basically use it. It's, it's utilizing Bluetooth, uh, but that didn't help me with my Alexa situation. Evidently they have a new feature that allows you to integrate with uh, smart devices, but it's a lot more expensive. So first things first, I have a 12 volt DC to DC converter. It steps down to micro USB, which is one of the ways that you can power this MHCOZY board. That is basically a Wi-Fi relay you can see the lights are on. Those are the devices that I currently have on. So this is in my main area. Let me go back around. Right now what I've chosen to utilize, and I have them labeled here, is my main overhead lights, my blue overhead lights, the awning lights, and the side lights on my camper. So <clears throat> the other thing to make this work, obviously you'll need an Alexa device. I have a newer Echo dot and I also have my AT&T uh, router slash Wi-Fi I don't think you'd need one connected to the internet but this is what I utilize in my camper so creates the Wi-Fi hotspot which all your devices will connect to enable this to work so let me do a little bit of demonstration and I've named mine lights camper so you can see how I'm illuminated from behind with the overhead camper lights. And that this light right here is also the switch. You can see it's illuminated to mean it's in the on position. So Alexa, turn off camper main. And you can see right there that it goes ahead and disables the relay. Alexa, turn on camper main. For some reason it thinks I say camera, so I'll go ahead and do it again. Alexa, turn on camper main. So there we go again. And it's the same thing with the other ones. Alexa, turn off camper blue. And you can see it turned off the blue lights in the camper. So I've also utilized a separate one in the bedroom area, which is a single gang switch that I have neatly tucked away behind the switch. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate that. Alexa, turn on camper bedroom. So as you can see, it turns on the camper bedroom. So one other thing I'd like to note. So the switch, kind of loses functionality. In all actuality though, if you turn it off from the uh, Bluetooth, or excuse me, Alexa. Alexa, turn off camper bedroom. Alexa, turn off camper bedroom. You could see that it didn't do anything in here, but I could hear it switch in the wall. So now you're back to switch functionality. So if I leave this in the off position and go ahead, Alexa, turn on camper bedroom. it goes ahead and utilize it. So basically what I did, I didn't want to cut the switch completely out of the system because lots of times you still have the habit of using the switches. So same thing here, I can turn off and on my blue lights. It just has to be toggled in the right position to utilize the um, Wi-Fi controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop the links to in the comments to this. If you have any questions, I also, went to a local hardware store, in this case, Home Depot, to make my connections a little bit easier. They're just push connections. 
and these are obviously screw down connectors it looks kind of complicated but it's really not that basically this you're just splicing the wire in between the switch itself and the uh, Wi-Fi relay so if you have any questions drop them in there thanks for watching my video and I hope that uh, you come up with some neat projects to do in your own RV thanks